Well now, I'm on my way to Troop, Texas to visit Dennis and Kimberly Stevens. Oh man, slide. you're gonna have a jungle gym village out here when you finish. <laughs> That's what we're All hoping right. for. We're you know, really one thing I really like, you've already got the safe play surface down here with mm -hmm. the pea gravel. You got plenty of that. So what you're thinking here, this is about where you want to put the second one? Yes, it is. Okay. Are we going to build this from scratch? Build it from a kit. Have to buy the lumber additional and the slides also separate. Okay. So we want to get the accessories and the hardware in the kit? Right. Can you've got that already? Yes, we do. In the lumber? Yes, we do. Let's go. We're ready. Our playset requires a bit of construction. We're going to build a two-story structure with a tube slide and other accessories connected to the upper level. Now before we start, let me show you the kit that we're going to be using today. This is actually the unit that we're going to build. And this kit, like most, provides the accessories and all the hardware. Now here's a tip for you. Separate the hardware out to start with. Put the light kind in piles like this. And using a muffin tin is a great way to separate out the small parts. This kit also has a cutting list right here. So the first thing we're going to do is start cutting some wood. 23 and a quarter. Using the cut list as a guide, we measure and mark each piece of wood. We're going to just measure and mark these one at a time, all right? Now take the speed square, if you would. Draw us a nice straight line across there. Dennis and Kimberly take turns with a circular saw. Running the base of the saw along the edge of the speed square assures a straight cut. With all the lumber cut, we can begin assembly. We're first going to put together two nearly identical frames, which can be thought of as the front and back of the playset. We snap chalk lines on the concrete patio to create a full-size plan. With this, we can see the exact location for each piece of lumber. Then we just lay the boards on top of the lines. All right, this is the beginnings of our first uh, frame right here. So we're going to temporarily attach this together. We temporarily attach the frames together by first drilling pilot holes, then driving in four stainless screws at each joint. Okay guys, we're gonna flip this over now. We have one more brace to put on the other side. We secure the joints with carriage bolts, washers, and nuts. Finally, it's time to raise the frame so we can continue the assembly. Guys, push it up so that it's vertical. Okay, Kim, put the level up there. Let us know when it's plumb or vertical. Okay, a little bit more. More which way? Out. This way? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nope. Got in. It? in. 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 Out. Right there. Right there, okay. Everybody hold on. Once plumb, we temporarily hold the frames in place by clamping them to braces which are attached to stakes driven into the ground. Now we're going to hook these together with six pieces of two by six, starting right down here on the bottom. Okay guys, if we grab that end, same thing here. Now we're going to drill the pilot holes and then we're going to put the screws in first, then we'll bolt later. So we attach our first two boards to the sides of each frame, connecting them together on the bottom. Then we'll attach two more boards across the top of the frame and two at the midpoint. In addition, we're going to install two joists running through the middle of the frames. These will support the deck boards that we'll attach later on. Okay, brace number two. Okay, what a team over there, huh? I feel like we're framing out a house here. Pretty big project, isn't it? Well, we put all of our cross supports in. You can see that we've got a really sturdy structure here now. Took a little break. Now we're going to come back and stabilize this. There's always a danger of one of these play sets tipping. So to prevent that from happening, we're going to put some heavy stakes around the bottom right here. We secure the stakes to the frame with three inch screws. Then Kimberly and I climb up top to begin installing the decking. We're attaching the deck across all four supports, or joists, with galvanized deck screws. Using a carpenter's pencil as a spacer leaves just enough distance between the boards to allow water and small debris to fall through. With the deck in place, we begin installing the walls, or siding, again using galvanized screws. You ready? Well, we've gotten all of the siding on our upper level up there. Now we're putting it on the bottom down here. Same process, but I want to show you a little, uh, little trick here. Sometimes if uh, you're working by yourself and it's hard to hold the board, you, uh, as you're getting it in position to screw it, you can use a clamp like this just to secure it where you want it. So in this case, flush with the top. Then you can let go with both hands and go ahead and put the screws in. With the playset frame, decking, and walls complete, 
Dennis and I are going to attach a small wooden frame we've just built. This is the landing for a pirate's ladder, one of the several accessories that came with the kit. We attach the ladder to the top railing with a couple of eye bolts. The bottom of the rope ladder is attached to the frame with heavy duty staples. We make sure the tension is tight. With the ladders attached, Dennis fills in the landing and covers the frame with pea gravel. Well, this is our second accessory here, the climbing rope. It attaches to the upper part of the structure just the same way the pirate's ladder did with a long eye bolt and a nut, which we will now tighten down. Okay, Kim, give it a try. I'll give you 10 seconds to get up here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, go ahead. <laughs> well, at least it's strong enough, huh? Yeah, can, can you hang on it? It'll help me. <laughs> now, every two-story playhouse requires a suitable set of front steps. In this case, it's going to be a ladder. We'll make the rails out of two two-by-fours. And to be sure the holes are spaced accurately, we'll clamp them together and drill through both at the same time. The rungs are short pieces of one and eight inch dowel which came with the kit. We simply pound them through and secure them in place with screws. We attach the ladder to the playset, and now it's time for the grand finale. Well, there are slides and then there are slides. Now this tubular slide was purchased as an accessory to the playset, and we're gonna roll it into position here and then we'll attach it to the main frame. Kimberly places the bottom of the slide into the pea gravel. Then Dennis and I bolt the top onto the frame. Now, no playhouse would be complete without a roof, so Dennis attaches a ridge beam to support an awning that came with the kit. We drape the awning over the beam and attach it with screws and fender washers. Finally, it's time for me to do what I came here for. No, not build an outdoor playset. Play on one. Listen, this is a great house call. Thanks for having me down. I just want to ask one thing. Can I come back and play on this a little bit someday? You bet. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I don't make it back to enjoy this playset anytime soon, I know someone who will enjoy it for me for a long time to come.